Okay, so, um, lights over here. Okay, so, um, I'm actually starting, or I'm getting married, and I want to do something sweet for my bridesmaids to ask them to be, um, you know, my bridesmaids. And uh, I was thinking of like all these ideas because everyone's done something or other, right? And um, there's like scavenger hunts, there's like, you know, dinners or di dining and drinking and I don't know, like cute gifts. Like you can give like one of those packages, the cute packages. They're cute, they're great. I like wanted to do all of them. But I'm really nerdy and I like going to like, I like playing like Sailors of Catan, I like playing like games and my friends, a lot of my friends do too. We actually do um, escape rooms a lot. So I'm, I was thinking of doing a DIY, do it yourself escape room. And man, I'm like one of those intros that take forever. You can always skip forward. So you're always in control viewers. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm rambling. So. What I thought about, I'll go ahead and show you. Oh, sorry, Christmas music. I'll stop you for now. So I have a plan. He, uh, Hastparty.com. It's Haste Escape Party. It's a blueprint for creating your first escape room. And I'll probably put a link in the bio. But it tells you like chapter by chapter. Same thing. It's like all on this one page. And it's telling you like, or what kind of theme you need. I'll uh, go through steps. Sorry, I'll go through steps. So the first step is finding like a theme for the party, set the mood, um, then have a storyline, make it interesting. The next thing is to find puzzles. So um, we're trying to find or choose fun puzzles, right? So I used, um, so I said three different, choose three different uh, puzzle types and I used um, code and ciphers and I used um, physical so you have to choose like it says to go with your progression to make it fun and make it not so hard to do um, to make three different or two different puzzle types that are easy medium and hard or easy and medium and easy and hard and things like that so then you would want to start off with all easies in like your first stage and then if you if you can have like three stages to have like three different rooms that would be preferable but I mean whatever you can work with I mean you could even do it outside or inside just be creative you know it's fun so that's what I did I went with I made these puzzles and I'll go through them right now so my first thing is we're gonna be in the bedroom, or everything's gonna be in the bedroom area. It's gonna be in the um, bedroom, closet, and bathroom because it's in the master bedroom. And the first thing is a crossword. So I made a crossword with all of my ex-boyfriend's names on it. It wasn't very hard, I mean, you just connect the dots. So it says here, you can't see it. Well, maybe you can. Well, I wrote it, because I mean, I don't care that much. This is just fun, for fun, right? So it says, Tin is forgetful. Help Tin remember her ex-boyfriends. Once you finish this, we will give you the key to the riddle behind the pass the crossword. So this is the crossword. It has all my ex-boyfriends' names on it. This is a bachelor asking my bridesmaids to, you know, get whatever. And then, um, so like I just put like one down. I just created my crossword with my ex-boyfriends on it. And then they should know all of them. And it's it's good too because like they're all my friends, but they're not all close to each other. And I, this puzzle is nice because they have to all collaborate because not everyone knows all my ex-boyfriends or all the different things for my ex-boyfriends. So that's kind of nice, right? Okay. The next thing is on the back, there's Braille. So after they get all the X's right, because I don't know, I didn't make it smoothly connect, but it's fine, whatever. After they get it right, I will give them this, and it's the braille, and then they'll get that bit's braille, and that they can like connect the dots. And it actually says it spells out Bernie, because I'm a huge Bernie supporter. Go Bernie Sanders! Yay! And um, I have a picture of him. I know I'm crazy. I don't really have pictures of my family or my friends or my ex my boyfriends um, on my like in my house, but. I have a picture of Bernie, because I love Bernie. Go ahead. So I'm going to have this in the room. 
in the bedroom. And then, so they'll run to the Bernie sign because they know I have this. I like make fun that I have it. And then in the Bernie thing, there's another clue. Oops. Stay cool, Tin. Stay cool. And the clue I made myself. I'm so excited to show you guys. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard. It's really fun to make riddles. I mean, I enjoy it, but yeah if you guys have any questions let me know i'll like try to help out as much as possible but this says um the answer isn't usually at the bottom of your drink but to solve this riddle you will find it there this game involves a little fingering but we all have all have had our practice of fingering teamwork is needed to help tin lock bend down but a little competition never hurt anyone since this is an odd number of you ben will help play this one so the teams are and then the so the theme of the party or the theme the theme that we're going with is help Ben or help Tin touch Ben or lock Ben down or go dig Ben because he's um, more wealthy than I am or he's from a better family so like not better but like wealthier family so like we always joke about me being a gold digger and whatever, but it was like all fun and games. We all know that Ben and I are in love and like, I wouldn't, I don't really care about them. I just like to say I'm a gold digger. So like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the theme of the night. <laughs> so like, they're gonna find these cups around the house. And there's six cups because there's five of them and they're gonna play flip cups. So when they do flip the cup, there's gonna be beer already on in it. And once they do flip the cup and they, they'll see that there's like messages on the bottom of it because it says that you don't usually find the answer at the bottom of a cup but this one you will I think this says where are my sexy time items where are our sexy time items like the answer the riddle in the back and like my girlfriends know like just personalize it you know like it's fun so just personalize it the way you want and then so for me we put um I put like where do I put my sexy time items which means, you know, where do I put like like condoms and shit like that. And then uh, they know where it is. It's in the closet. So that's the next stage. No, oh, this thing's a mess. It says, Tins, get Tins head out of the gutter. She's having a hard time answering these riddles. A answer all of them to move on. I'll give you a hint. They aren't dirty. And these are all dirty riddles or not dirty riddles. Like this one says, Arnold Schwarzenegger is really long. Um... Michael J. Fox is really short. Michael uh, Mickey Mouse isn't human. Mona, um, Madonna doesn't have one. What is it? And people think it's like a penis, but it's not. It's a uh, last name. I know these are kind of tricky, but you'll like help. You can help your girlfriends out when you do them. And you know, well, for me, everyone I know that's going to be a bridesmaid is over 21 and is like. You know, we're girls, we like to like pretend or we like to have fun and joke around and be like kind of dirty. You know, it's like whatever, have fun with it. This, um, this is another riddle and it says A to B, B to C. And I found this on the same site as this. It's like another um, thing to translate. And it says, it basically says something about a toilet or toilet paper. Something about how like your role and like you need to do number two. I can't remember the riddle, but I found it online too. So um, I'll link that too. And it's like really cute. So then you know, like this is going to lead to the bathroom. So that was the next stage. And then the next stage Okay, is another riddle. It's like this. It's like this. And then they have to crack it like this. This is called, I think it's called pig pen saf. Um, pig pen saf, saf um, cipher. You can find it on Wiki. You can find it in like a lot of other places. And it's like, it's so yellow now. I don't know why. But yeah, you can find it in a lot of other places. Um, yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> I found that I thought it was kind of easy, so I'm gonna go with that. I know that at least with the braille, it's really easy, you just substitute. And then with the other one, it's not too difficult. I know that one seems difficult, the medium, the the one where A equals C and B equals D, that does sound like it is. 
um, hard to do, but I know Tao has done it because me and Tao have been in that skate room where she's done it before. So I don't think that's gonna be very difficult. So I hope this one will be because I don't know. My friend, one of my friends, is always like doing the skate room, so I don't know if she'll know this one. Hopefully she doesn't. And then, so this says something actually. I like made another riddle. It was really not that hard. I seriously spent like a day doing this. Mm, let me get it. Mm. I think it's mine later. I think I put it here. Uh, here, let's try that one. Hmm. No, it's not that one. Oh, it's so hard. How about this one? Dirty riddles. This one. This says. To find the next uh, clue, you will have to look hard at yourself. So they're in the bathroom. So if you're looking hard at yourself, you're looking at the mirror. And then it's usually hard to see in this. It is usually hard to see in this weather, but you can see me more clear if there was fog. So that means like you have to breathe on it, right? And then I'm gonna put like um, there's gonna be gummies in the toilet paper roll because I use toilet paper in my thing or in my one, one of my riddles, so they're gonna look for it. And then there's gonna be gummy bears and a, like a specific amount of gummy bears. It's gonna be um, like blue, there's gonna be like three blues, four yellows, um, one red and zero green, right? And then the, the code would be like yellow, green, red, and blue. And then they'll have to figure out, oh, it's the number of gummy bears to unlock the, the key to get them out of the room. And then that would be the end. So, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of work, but I want to do it. I feel like if this is something you don't want to do, then like don't do it. Or you can copy mines if your friends are kind of like, they get like dirty jokes or like, just customize it for yourself. It'll be really, I feel like it'll be really fun for my friends. I'm actually gonna have a video of them doing it up later when they do it. It's, it's not gonna be anytime soon because this is gonna be like in a month. And I know I'm gonna be posting this beforehand. So as long as you don't tell my friends that I posted this and I don't tell my friends that I posted this, then we'll be okay, won't we? Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this was um, beneficial. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Take care. Bye.